Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do this little. Phew. All right, so we are outdoors. Uh, We're in it. It is autumn, apparently now. And it is a squirrel. Squirrel season. We're getting bombarded by acorns on our porch of wonder. Um, but it's so nice out. We decided to do this outside. How could you not? Oh, I guess we need to do the welcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to do it? Hey. Go ahead. Welcome, everybody, to a Bourbon on a Budget. Uh, here we are. It is autumn finally in Georgia. I think last week was really hot and now it feels nice and autumny. So we decided to go outside on our back porch next to our giant oak where the squirrels are actively throwing acorns at us and it feels nice and today we're gonna do a nice review of this high west American prairie bourbon that has a jumpy goat on it, pronghorn antelope. I just want you folks to know that tree uh, that's in the frame is twice the size in real life. Yeah, you, for some reason the lens makes it look small. <laughs> the tree behind us here was, uh, they think dated back to before the Civil War. They built this tree, I believe in 1620. It's an ancient tree. Mm -hmm. full Constructed. Of, full of angry squirrels at the moment. By the Lord's elves. They're just everywhere. And we are just here in Atlanta enjoying it, so. Let's have a sip. Have a sip of this delicious booze that we've never reviewed for some reason. Yeah, um, this is High West. Uh, all their products are super tasty. Should we just wait till the sirens go by? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Intermission. It's pour. Yeah, it's gonna pour. Yeah. As soon as we do, it'll be like, cap, cap, cap. Excitement's over for now. Uh, anyways, this is High West. Uh, they're out of Park City, Utah. Uh, every single one of their products I've had are super tasty. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I've had this before, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to review it before I sip it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There you go. Three, two, one, watch. Oh. Hey everybody, we're here, and as you can see, the red curtain isn't here because we're outside in this nice, crisp autumn weather in front of this big ass old tree getting bombarded by a bunch of acorns <laughs> uh, by angry squirrels. So uh, today, of course, Horror Squad, Brian here, Rainy, we're gonna be drinking High West, High West Whiskey, American Prairie Bourbon. Apparently we've been drinking this stuff for a few years now and just never <laughs> reviewed it. So let's smell it and see if it's any good. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, well, okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's do a little sip and then let's shoot it. Oh, okay. Is this how you pour bourbon? <laughs> Take your time, that's, that's good, that's, that's good. You know I have to finish my shot. All right, let's get in this stuff. Even though we've been getting in it for like a long time. All right, so let's uh, smell it again. Mm. It's a mosquito. Nice well, yeah. it's skeeter season. No. Well, it's always <laughs> mosquito season in Georgia. Let's uh, let's sip it. See what it tastes like. I sip Oh, yo, geez, that's not a good sip. <laughs> Woo. Ooh. Mm. I mean, you guys might like it. It's not too bad. It's not, kind of cinnamony. Yeah, it has like a you know a little bit of a, a spice to it, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, my initial it was an initial pop, but yeah, it's going down pretty smooth. Yeah. Even. It's smooth. It's it's very aromatic fall. Yeah, it's got a nice fall aroma, aroma and uh, 
makes you feel like, you know, you're about to just sit down in front of a fireplace during Christmas time with a nice little side of pumpkin pie. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or you just, uh, or, or just, or just wait that out and just, you know, enjoy the rest of October. Halloween time. Ow! All right, let's do it. Clink it, bump it, I can't shoot the whole thing. and dump it. How do you like it? Uh, it's for like cowboys. It. This is for cowboys. Are you into cowboys? Do you like that kind of stuff? Well, there's a new game coming out. Ooh, that's right. Mm, I want to uh, get that. The Red Redemption, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. About cowboys. Oh yeah, looks badass. And uh, let's pretend like we're yeah, just cowboys. We need to just get it and play through it together and just. I want to pretend like I'm a cowboy. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here. Oh, here we yeah, go. That was a good. And then, oh. So that clink hurt. it, bump it. Now dump it. Yeehaw! <laughs> It's just delicious. So good. I don't know what High West does. I think it's magic or something. But this this bourbon has such flavor and it, it coats my tongue with such a good flavor and it fills my mouth and it's nice and warm. And it gives you a nice warmth. It's not like an acidic or a sharp burn. It's just a really pleasant sensation to me. Yeah, it's like a, a perfect amount of spicy yeah. on the tongue. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it's just, it, there's no like astringency to it, uh, it goes down easy. Yeah. And like after it goes down, I feel like for the next couple of minutes you're just tasting all these flavors mm -hmm. that I really don't know how to describe. No idea. Um, Yummy. Great. Delicious. Tastes like extraordinary. awesome. Yes. Brilliant. I feel like if you had this. And I, it tastes better than like some of the, definitely way better than a lot of the more expensive bourbons I've had. Oh yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It is a lively whiskey. Lively, I wouldn't say good, but it's lively. It's tingly mm. on my tongue. He has a bit of a tingle. Good. It doesn't feel too bad going down. I mean, it's nice and warm and smooth and uh, probably would be a good mixer, um, especially uh, during the nice crisp autumn air. Mm. <laughs> Telling you, 90 degrees in October, not good. It feels really good tonight. So. We, well, we had a hurricane two days ago. That's right. And now hurricane. it's Halloween time. Mm-hmm, Halloween. Ooh, I cannot wait for October 19th. Are we plugging? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get the rest of it out of the, uh, the shot glass. Yeah, so, um, mind. yeah, buddy. So we do down here in the prairie. But, you know, if I act like a cowboy, I think it's not too bad. That's your third shot. That's also true. <laughs> What do you think, Liz? Great. Yeah. It's a uh, rough. It's a rough. Or is it a... That one's spicy on the back of the mouth. That one hits, it burns a little bit. I might need a Tums. Uh-oh. <sighs> you heard it here, folks. folks. <laughs> I might need a tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it's gonna stay right here all evening. Ooh, but maybe when I have another one like you, that it'll push the first one lower. And then, and then the second shot will act like a Tums. And will push down the, the alcohol. Oh, hot damn. Yeehaw! <laughs> second one was way better than the first one. Maybe that's it. Maybe when you've got a cleansed palate of nothing and then you can just go into it you're like punched in the face yeah. by a wild coyote in in by the saloon or I think that might the be second a, one you feel like okay it's mama's milk i think that's, I think that's, <laughs> hey. a, I think that's a deer somebody called it a goat earlier i don't know if that's 100 uh, percent accurate but uh what proof is this 
this is a 46% by volume and they don't care about telling you the proof. Uh, I think 46 translates to like 92. Oh, good to know. Well, that's almost 100. It's not no moonshine now. So, would you recommend it to the viewers out there in uh, uh, YouTube? Way? Yeah. Um, this one comes in at 40 bucks these days. It used to be like in the mid 30s, but. It's 40 bucks now? It's 39. Wow, they've and gone up. Everything has gone up. Everything's gone up. I don't know if it's because of that collapse of bourbon that happened. Wow. I think last uh, time I bought it at Greens was 32? Yeah. 34? I mean, I feel like if, if you shopped around, you probably still catch it at 34, 36. Yeah. Um, I, I guess it's in the, uh, let's just say mid 30s to lower 40s price range now. You want another one? Yeah. But uh, but all the prices we've noticed are going up. I don't know if that's because of uh, just inflation or if now whiskey's so popular that they can charge more. Yeah, uh, but this is so good. Go buy yourself a bottle today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And the second shot's even better. I think whatever the price is at your market, this would be one that when you bought it, you'd be happy with your purchase. It just has such a good taste. You can put it on ice and sip it, drink it neat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mix it because then you're just wasting it. There's no point. Go get something like a bullet or larceny or something that you can mix for cheaper in the twenties or cheaper even. <clears throat> But this is just really good, easy, easy to drink, uh, good flavor. We love this one. It's just great. Yes. I would drink this all the time. If I had to choose a bourbon to be stuck with for the rest of my life, I think this would be it. Out of everything I've tasted? Yeah. So good. Yeah. We really like this one a lot. Um, we like the Chattanooga too. Um, this is the one I think of are these two, Chattanooga and the, when we review the other things. And a lot of stuff we had that were like 40s, 50s, I just still go back to these. I'd rather drink these. Yeah. I'd rather drink this one all the time. Sure. Oh, so it's great. Anything else? Yeah. Nope, that's it. Bye. We did it. And originally, what was the... Uh, so this was like mid-30s, 40s. Mid-30s, the 40s? What the hell? Inflation! Oh, Liz is here. Hey, Liz. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it for 40. I don't know. The Chattanooga 18, 12 reserve. It's like not getting up there Yeah, and like I'd pay that, that, so. Yeah, I think they're kind of beautiful. Yeah. I don't know why I did that second okay. shot, half shot. It's not like I drink whiskey on a regular basis. I mean, was bourbon. It, was it better the second time? Yeah, it's whiskey. Uh, no, it was actually worse the second time. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. I think we're divided. <laughs> I gotta mix that. If I had a nice, uh, tall, cool glass of lemonade, pour a little bit of a uh, cran apple juice in there. Mm. Even though it's not summertime, it's still delicious. All right, so I guess that's it. That's <laughs> it goes 35 to 40. 35 to 40 bucks. Would you buy it? Would you get it? 35 to 40 is when J Jameson is 28? Ooh. No. Uh-oh. All right, well, that's a no from Liz, everyone. You heard it here first. Right the, here. The numbers don't add up. You know, like, the numbers don't add up. If you you want a good whiskey, you don't. You want to pay, like, around the 30. Nah. Mm -mm. I'm, so, I'm so it's a no from Liz? The math is not adding up, kids. Or maybe so, it is adding up. It just, well, never mind. It's about the so, numbers. So no from Liz, I guess it's a maybe for me if it's mixed. Um, so that's that's about it. Uh, that's what we have for, for today, folks. So hopefully Cheers. we can get a little yeehaw. bit more. Yeah, hee-haw and a yahoo. Woo, doggy. From us Ow. here in Georgia. That's right, down south, the dirty, dirty, Ew. as they used to call it back in the day. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some more videos out here in the wilderness under this giant old tree getting attacked by uh, angry squirrels. So that's it from us today. It's October! That's right, it's October, kids. Halloween. So remember to share, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And make sure you tune in for more reviews. And also look out for our movie 
reviews. Press all the if buttons. You like that kind of stuff, uh, specifically horror reviews. So uh, we'll see you later, folks. Hail Come Satan. back. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs>